Welcome to Diacons 20 Years On and joining me today is Tanil. Hi. And Jo. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming in. We wanted to have a chat today about lesbian spaces. So I guess we could call them safe spaces or women only spaces. So we used to have them. Do yes. we still have them? Oh, tricky. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Where I came out, there were no lesbian-only spaces. They were, they were queer spaces, gay and lesbian yeah. spaces. Um, but we used to have a lot more lesbian spaces, particularly here in Melbourne, and we're not seeing them anymore. So we're seeing kind of nights, like Sundaylicious and um, Fixation Fridays at the Mersh. Yeah. Oh, mm. see, shows my age, one. Fixation Friday. It's oh, new. <laughs> it's, new. <laughs> it's fairly new. <laughs> yeah. it's good so night, where, were the, where were the spaces when you were... Yeah, <laughs> not that you're old now. That felt a little bit. Uh, you know, you've had a birthday. Yeah, we, I have had a, a big birthday recently. Um, so I think that uh, there used to be more clubs. So we used to actually have clubs and we used to have really designated nights. We used to, I mean, Gertrude Street was our street, yeah, wasn't it? that's right. Um, so, but no. Mama Cedar's down at... Mama, yeah, 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 mm. yeah. So, but no, we don't have those establishments anymore. Um, um, in in Queensland, we used to have a place called Red Books, and it was a bookstore and a, and a cafe, but it was a lesbian space. Um, and we we don't have that anymore. So, it's interesting. So, why yeah. why do you reckon it's changed? Um, I think that um, I think it's kind of a combination of the women who were seeking those spaces to connect with other lesbians have kind of gotten a little bit older and the younger women coming through are finding um, that they can actually connect with people um, at, at anywhere mm. um, because mm. they're not necessarily clinging to those labels of lesbian or dyke or that sort of thing. So I think it's a combination. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, um, Dykes on Bikes is presumably still a, a lesbian space. In, in Definitely. So yeah. do you have events as well as going uh, Yeah, we have a lot of events. Um, we have rides, uh, club rides, where it's just club members and that. We have a few open rides every year where we invite people outside um, mm -hmm. the club. And also every month we have our cafe ride where we all get together and just go and grab a bite to eat and just find that safe space at a cafe. But we don't seek a... a a particular venue, mm -hmm. um, but I guess so the safe space is strength in numbers, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we can mm -hmm. have five or ten people, we can have 20 or 30 people, so but we're definitely identifiable um, and we've never ever had a problem. Oh, it's always been safe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never, not and once. But people interested? Oh, yeah, salad? definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, and we call them our meet and greet, so we often get people that are um, wanting to join the club, they'll come and meet us there and they come and sit with us and it's a, more of a social thing rather yeah. than just coming on a, on a ride where it's, uh, even though you're in a group, you mm. know, you're still kind of on your own in yeah. your own helmet yeah. um, and it's hard to connect with people. Um, so that's why we, you know, invite people along to our cafe rides. It's just a lot easier. You can talk and get yeah, to know and people. Yeah, it, slightly structured in the sense that someone's organised it so... People yeah, that's get, right. Get there but definitely a safe space for everyone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yep. good. Because I remember when I was sort of first... Um, coming out and there were heaps of bars and mm. clubs and things. Um, and But they were in the days when it was sort of like private function. So you had yeah. to sort of know the person on the mm. door or look gay, which often I didn't, so they wouldn't let me mm. in. And yep. I'd have to go... Yeah, get your credentials, <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Hello, it's a girlfriend. <laughs> you get a reference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we were actually in together. It, it sort of was started off that we're actually all in together. Mm. So the boys and girls were in together yeah. because it was sort of so mm. underground. Yep. And I quite like that yeah. in, in a way and then it became more separate, separate women's nights and I think they've got their advantages and, and disadvantages yeah. that it's really nice to be in a space with just mm. just mm. women yep. where you can relax and yeah. um, it's not even that you're going to be hassled it's just that I don't know you can play your own music and not feel that and talk, well, talk about <laughs> talk about things yeah yeah, yeah that's right <laughs> that are things. interesting and just things <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. but I'm just wondering if sort of like the impact of say social media has changed mm. that as well you know just about like um, well, Joe yeah. was saying about meeting people and not even just for a relationship but just for friendships yeah, and stuff like that. Well, you do yeah. I mean you, people a lot of a lot of women are using apps and that sort of thing yeah. to connect which is which is interesting I've never done that I don't understand it maybe that's because I'm getting older <laughs> old school I'm oh, very old school <laughs> it's efficient. Um, but you know, that was the the way that you had to meet people was to go out into a space and and actually physically have a mm, conversation yeah, yeah. And actually, whereas yeah. now you can kind of swipe through you know many many <laughs> women um, on on the on your phone um, and, and have conversations and that sort of thing. So yeah, and no, I think mm. that's definitely and like yeah. you know Pink Sofa when that first came out, you yeah, know, a few years ago. Is it still going? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Don't Pink know. Sofa. But I think also uh, 
too, I found a challenge if you do find a safe space, it was always like on a, a Wednesday night or a Sunday yeah, night. Yeah. It's like we got the <laughs> We work too, you know. We're actually out there in the workforce have got to get up. So it makes it really difficult yeah. to go out, you know, on a Wednesday or a Sunday night. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and in a smaller town where I grew up, you'd go out and a venue wouldn't last too long, past yeah. probably six or twelve months because especially if it was on a, a, a weekly basis, it's always the same people. Definitely. And it's always good to go out and catch up with your mates, but you don't do it every weekend. No, yeah, kind you've got of other thing. You've got other on. things going on yeah, and all that. Right. So, you know, every couple of months is always a good thing. And, and that's why venues just unfortunately don't last. Yeah, but it's the about nights. financial viability. I yeah, yeah and right. the nights are great. I mean, your Sunday licious is a fantastic... We shouldn't really advertise, should we? Oh, that's but right. there are certain The one that's that on great. a Sunday. Yeah, once a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of delicious. <laughs> <no>? <laughs> I think of a name for it. If yeah. I was there. Oh. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I think there is the, the money angle. I think particularly... Um, I could be generalising, but lesbians like to sort of know that they're, they're there and go to them when they want to go, whereas maybe yeah. guys mm. tend to go out more often. Mm. Uh, there is also that kind of um, uh, conundrum, I know definitely with the Queer Film Festival and with Midsummer, trying to connect with lesbians and getting them to get off their couches. So leave, right. leave the cats and Netflix, that's right. come out and actually and do something and connect because I think, you know, they kind of get a <laughs> shack up and... <laughs> get comfy. Get comfy. Get fit, yeah. exactly. and, oh, it's six. Oh, mm, it's bedtime. Late. Exactly. You know, remember um, that TV show, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? Oh, yeah. 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 I was going to do um, Dyke Tips for Straight Chicks, yeah. which was... That is amazing. <laughs> put your tracky decks on and your Uggs, put the dogs on the bed, How close the blinds at 8 o'clock. And sensible. Yeah. That's right. It was only going to be one show. <laughs> yeah. It's really easy. Five tips. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, we, should, we should do that next should, time, bring our trackies and our Ugg boots. And just kick back here. That's right. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Bowl of popcorn. <laughs> Uh, well, this time we're done. So thank you both for joining mm. us on Daikon's 20 Years On.